Hey guys, Mr. T. Lexify back, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the top five worst zombie weapons from the box. Now, this is not going to be including wall weapons, and also this is not going to be including pack-a-punch weapons and or the M1911. So let's get straight into this video. So coming in at number five, we have the ballistic knife, which was first introduced, I believe, in Kino Jertoten on Black Ops 1. Now the ballistic knife, it's not too bad. It does shoot out the knife and uh, it's pretty good. It's probably going to keep you up there until about round 15 because you can get the Bowie knife with it. It's not too bad. It's just an okay weapon, but it's just not that great. The Pack-a-Bunch version is a lot better, but remember guys, we are not including the Pack-a-Bunch version of these weapons. So it's an okay weapon, but it's not really going to get you that far. Now going on to our number four spot, this is going to be the crossbow also introduced onto Kino Dirtoten. And again, it's not that great. Uh, it can also down you as well because of the explosive damage. Oh, again, it's pretty good. It'll probably last you about till round 15, but it's not that great. It has very little ammo as well, which makes it a bad contender. And once I get this in the mystery box, unless I'm going to pack a punch it, I immediately get rid of this weapon. It's just not that great. The crossbow upgraded though is absolutely amazing, but again, I'm going to reiterate it. We are not including pack a bunch weapons. So now going on to number three, this is going to be the China Lake. Now this was going to be a tie between the RPG and the China Lake, but I realized the China Lake is a lot worse because if you accidentally shoot the China Lake right up close, right up beside a zombie, it'll basically do what the war machine does and not even explode. And also this weapon can kill you. And again, the damage on this thing really sucks and there's not a lot of ammo. So the China Lake is definitely pretty bad. Now, when you do upgrade this weapon though, you do get more ammo, you do get more damage. So again, it is a pretty good weapon. All three of the weapons I have reviewed so far, are, they are pretty good, I guess you have to say. Uh, Pack-a-punch, but not pack a punch They're just something that you want to get rid of as soon as possible So now I'm going on to our numbers two spot. This was pretty obvious I do think you guys will recognize this one. This is the SMR or the shit miss and rage for the <laughs> Sorry guys for the black ops 2 map now This was first introduced into transit and oh my goodness, when you pick up this weapon, I'm pretty sure this was my first ever mystery box weapon in Black Ops 2 Zombies Transit. And when I first picked up this weapon, I was like, oh my goodness, this thing looks amazing. I try it, and every single shot I try and hit on a zombie, I miss. And I can't get a single kill with this thing, and I'm like, oh my god, this is garbage. So the SMR is definitely something you're not going to want to pick up from the mystery box. It, the basic miss you just miss way too much with this weapon i heard that the hip spread on most weapons is the ads spread on this which basically means uh so let's take for example the foul so when you hip fire on that that's the same accuracy as you get when you zoom in on the smr so essentially saying wherever you're shooting you're never gonna hit that spot it's only luck and uh, again, the SMR just sucks. Even at round one, I'd probably say that the Colt M1911 is better than the SMR. It's just such an awful weapon. And to get it for 950 points while you get the Colt M1911 for free, it's just god awful. The SMR is just crap. And when you upgrade it, it barely gets any better. The accuracy still sucks. The damage gets increased, but it still sucks. And by round 10, this weapon is completely garbage. Honestly, I would probably survive longer with the M1911, not even pack-a-punching it, with just the knife rather than this weapon. The SMR just sucks so much. It's just so bad. I don't know what Treyarch was thinking. So anyways, guys, let's get on to the dishonorable mention. So the first dishonorable mention, I don't know about this weapon, but I just really think it's bad. This is the Spectre from Black Ops 1. This is in the mystery box. Now, I don't know about this weapon. I think this is a personal opinion of mine. I just really don't like the Spectre. I don't like its accuracy. I don't like the way it shoots. I don't like its sound. I don't like the look of the gun. I just don't like anything about it. The Spectre is just something I just dislike. And remember guys, about this list, you, if there are wall weapons on this list, we cannot include them, so that is one thing to say. And the second dishonorable mention I'm gonna have to say is the Barrett 50 Cal. 
Uh, some snipers in zombies like the DSR are very, very good. They'll last you till about round 40 with Deadshot Daiquiri. But the Bear 50 Cal isn't so great. You run out of ammo, you go through it way too fast, and it doesn't have as high as a damage as the DSR. So it's not really that great. So now, guys, let's get on straight to the number one. So the number one is going to be the War Machine. As you guys all know, the War Machine is just the worst. You get it. You're like, oh my goodness, this thing looks amazing. I've had it in campaign. I know what it's like. This is going to be great. You try it out. You shoot the grenades. The great grenades fly everywhere. You down yourself. This is probably a weapon that will kill you more than it will kill the zombies. This weapon is just pure garbage. Treyarch is trying to kill us all. This is their secret way of our demise. This is the War Machine. This is the troll master weapon. This is how you get people angry. The War Machine is just all that combined. It's like snipers. If any of you guys watch his videos, that is the weapon that describes him the most. But anyways, guys, the War Machine is crap. And when you upgrade it, it does explode on impact. But it still sucks. And it's not as good as the Mustang and Salad. But anyways, guys... Do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will comment down below what you want for the next top 5 series. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all that great jazz. Let's hit 150 likes for the next top 5. And tomorrow, sorry, I'm going to upload Zombie Weapon Comparison finally. And I think you guys will like this one. If you want to figure out which one it is, follow me on Twitter. All that stuff will be in the links in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.